It's four in the morning. While you're still fast asleep, these sisters are pulling on their boots and venturing out into the paddocks on their farm to feed their sheep, goats, cattle and horses. Yeah, and we help mum and dad as much as we can. Um, you know, feeding stock, making sure everything's watered and kept Helping. up to date. Heidi, Eliza and Ruby live on a farm right here in Outback New South Wales. In case you haven't heard, the state is really dry right now. In fact, 98% of it is either in drought or drought affected. And it's a similar story in big parts of Victoria, South Australia and Queensland. The scorched dry land creates some amazing scenes from up in the air. But closer up, the reality is far less beautiful. Sometimes it's sad when you have to see um, like lambs being pulled or them dying. It's dry. Yeah. The whole property's dry. No green at all. When there's no grass for the farm animals to eat, farmers have to buy hay and feed them by hand. It means these guys don't get much downtime. We have to do a lot of stuff at school and then we, when we get home, then we have to do a lot more jobs. I like it because it gives me something to do, but it's very busy. Busy, like they said. Yeah, you're never bored. Yeah. A drought's what happens when not enough rain falls over a long period of time and it leads to a shortage of water. What not enough rain means depends on the average rainfall for that area. So even if it does happen to rain in the coming weeks or months, it doesn't necessarily mean the drought will be broken. Australia is the driest inhabited continent in the world. On average, we're hit with a severe drought once every 18 years. The worst one on record, the Millennium Drought, wasn't all that long ago. It happened between 2003 and 2012. Back then, water shortages got so bad that many farms went out of business and in some areas, big desalination plants were built to turn seawater into drinking water. Farmers say this drought has them struggling to make ends meet. So now our leaders are taking action. Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull's announced relief measures for farmers across the country. But we've got to make sure that when times get really tough, we give them the tools to enable them to carry on and get to the other side of the drought. And in New South Wales, Premier Gladys Berejiklian says the state government will find $500 million for affected families. That money will go towards getting things like food and water to livestock. The government's also cutting a bunch of fees that farmers would normally have to pay to run their farms. It's impossible to say how long this drought might last. Even with the financial aid, Heidi, Eliza and Ruby know there's plenty of hard work ahead. But despite the challenges, they say there's nowhere else they'd rather live. We love it out here. Even though we are in drought and it is hard and we are very busy, like, we wouldn't change it. Mm.